Uh, right, so Jazz, welcome to Osset United TV. We thought we'd come down and join you at training this evening in what's been uh, a pretty climactic week, I suppose, for yourself. Um, obviously, first of all, Jack Cowgill announcing that he was stepping away from football. And then, of course, your colleague Wardy um, over the weekend deciding to uh, to do similar. Um, what, what's been your thoughts, first of all, on the Wardy situation? Uh, thoughts are just thank him for everything. He's been great for myself, great for the club, great for the lads. And, and I'm sure he, he's, uh, he's had an impact on, on, on the lads in the dressing room um, and, and really helped them with the development. And, and I think that Wardy is a character that'll be That'll, that'll be missed from here. Uh, it, it'll not be missed from football that long because he'll be back in. We're back in the game. He's got too much to offer. Um, so he's been really good for himself and, and the club. Um, Wardy slept on a few things after the, the game Saturday, but we've been in conversations now for for a number of weeks where it's just been a, a difference of opinion. There's been no fallout. We're still pals. Uh, we still speak to each other. Lots of people have been contacting me, contacting him, and it's just been that. We've got a different view on, on how I want to play, how I want to set up, and, and even personnel and players that are, that are playing for us. So we wish him well, we thank him for everything, he'll be welcome here at any time. Um, and it's just a case of us now getting his head down, starting here tonight at training, on to Thursday, then a, then a huge game on Saturday. Yeah, so uh, you mentioned sort of like differences in opinion, I suppose, with regards to playing styles, etc. Uh, now that it's just yourself, what sort of playing style are you expecting to implement here at Infield? I, I, I wanted us to be on the front foot. Uh, I want, I, I do want us to be direct. Um, that, that goes without saying. That's not banging it. That's not going back to front from, from centre-halves and smashing out a play. Um, that's by... Can we get into final third nice and quick? Can we get into final third with two or three passes uh, rather than rather than just booting it in there? I don't want to see us playing inside the 18-yard area. Uh, I don't want to see my goalkeeper running out six-yard area. I want us to be right for this league, for this league, and, and and I think that we've got the players to do that. They just need to back themselves, believe in it more. Um, don't don't get me wrong. We we, we like I keep reiterating. We, we want to play a style of play that's that's good on the eye as well. We don't want people to go away unhappy. We don't want people to be slagging styles of play. We want people to get behind it and see that, yeah, well, actually, it's going up there with purpose. It's going up there with some quality. It's going into the into the strike because we're getting hold of it. And then we're playing from there. Um, and we're playing some good intricate playing around the box. And, and that's how I want to play. So um, the first and foremost would be to, to get the energy in the legs, get the leg, legs moving and, and play with lots of confidence. And, and I want people to go and express themselves as well. Excellent. OK, so moving on, um, obviously we had the news last week that Jack Cowgill, uh, captain here, has decided to step away from football. Um, again, what were your thoughts on that when, when it was first, uh, first muted your way? Um, it's just got to be open-minded when with, with, with players, uh, the human beings, you know, uh, they've got things in their the personal life, they've got lives away from football, so when football kind of is not that release anymore and not that um, sort of buzz anymore, then Jack's feeling like, well actually the little niggles and injuries and how he's feeling himself and work commitments, he's felt as though he needs to step away uh, and that's the right thing for Jack at this moment in time. Uh, again, we wish him well, I'm in contact with him still, yes. he's been a leader here, he's been a captain, he's, he's an unbelievable player and he's a player that, that will be missed uh, and, and, and he's, a, he's a person that will be missed but the main thing for Jack is to to get himself right mentally, to get himself right physically, um, and, and focus on what actually matters right now, and that's and that's himself, and that's his work, and that's his home, and that's uh, and that's him being uh, the, the sort of character that we want to see. So we're, we're in contact with him, and he'll be in on Tuesday watching us against Stockford, cheering us on. Well, that's excellent news. Um, just thinking forward, then obviously Jack was the captain here. Uh, Ollie Fear and deputised for the last few games. What What's your thoughts on uh, appointing a new captain? Is that something that you've already thought of? Yeah, we've appointed um, Firo. So Firo will be the, the club captain with Brad Beatson, vice captain. Uh, Firo's been immense since he's come in. He'll be frustrated because of the, the goals are not coming for him right now, but I'm sure continue to work as hard as he is in the right areas. Mm -hmm. I do think he's been dropping too deep just to try to get a result for the team but we need him where he's going to hurt teams and where he's going to hurt teams is in, is in around that box so uh, he's a leader like I say he's a winner and he's been a real good uh, character for us since we've signed him and Brad will back him up all the way Excellent well finally um, obviously we go to Stocksbridge on Saturday and the Isuzu FA Trophy um, obviously with, uh, with Jack deciding to step down uh, have you got any ideas of any players that you might be wanting to bring in are you looking at any more bodies or are you happy with what you've got? Yeah well no we 
we, we definitely need to bring in bodies. We need to bring in um, some some better players, uh, some uh, lads who are going to push the other players who are playing pretty well in the team, and we'll we'll have a, a new body in for, for Saturday, a new centre half who's who's physically uh, he's, he's a man. He's, again, he's a leader. He's been a captain where he's been. Uh, and he's the sort of lad that we need to bring in now. We need to really um, start getting a grip of games from start to finish, cut our spells in games because we've seen what's happened previously at Dunstan and then um, well, Ponty we went ahead and, 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 and Bridlington we've been ahead and not being able to sort of keep, uh, maintain that lead. And I think with the, the leaders in the team and the better players coming in, I think that with the squad that we've got, they can only bring us and add strength to that. So we'll have a centre half in Saturday. Got seven days in front of all that, uh, maybe a bit of a bit out as well. Okay, well, thanks for your time as always, Jazz. We'll let you get back to training. See yeah. you Saturday. Cheers, mate. Thank thanks, you. Jazz. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.